Hello everybody, it's time to play video games on the internet. Oh, yeah. Hello, this is Jerry Rice and my dog Leo Nice. It's time. We're here to talk about our video games. Let's talk Jerry about our Rice video games. Dog football. Jerry Rice and Nidus dog football. No. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is out. Well, I guess last night. Um, I haven't played it. I downloaded it. I launched it to make sure that it worked. Uh, you know, about 12 hours ago or so now. And... Uh, and I thought that maybe we would get into it and see what's, I just realized I don't really need, I mean, I, I you know, as much as I like to wear headphones, the game audio is not going to come through the headphones. It's coming through the TV behind me. Um, this is a mess. Um, it's a game for the Nintendo switch, which is, uh, a video game, a console platform, uh, with, extremely with with no with no good controller options <laughs> zero zero good controller options um anyway this new zelda is out uh and let's let's try it let's let's see what's up with it i don't really know what's up with it i mean you know i i've seen the trailers and i watched a stream and saw the first like 10 minutes of the game i was like oh man okay um, let's, uh, let's just get right into it. You know what? Let's, uh, I, I'm going to crack this open cause I, I need to, I need to drink something. Um, and then we'll, we'll get into it. How's everybody doing? Everybody having a, a good Friday, a, a do a doing it Friday. Is it a doing it Friday? I don't, I don't know what the fuck is coming out of my mouth here. Uh, it's yeah. It's been that kind of morning. Very, uh, action packed, high paced. High paced? That's not, I don't even think that's a word. I don't even think that's a word. This is, what is this? This is a can of Riot Energy. It is plant-based. It's a plant-based energy drink as opposed to all the meat that goes into the other ones. Um, tired of all these meat drinks. So I'm excited to, to get something that, that's a little more plant. It's Cherry Watermelon Riot. I don't know. This is on the... This is one of the ones my wife got a hold of me and said, I'm at the store. There's a bunch of weird shit here. Do you want any? I said, yes, absolutely. And, uh, and now here we are. Let's copy these over and figure this out. Yeah, cherry and watermelon. Two of the four meat groups, meat food groups, cherries and watermelons, they've somehow turned it into a plant-based energy drink uh, it's just really oh that smells like fucking trash <laughs> this okay that doesn't smell like cherry or watermelon it's it's okay crap man <laughs> what's the caffeine amount looks like it's 160 and then they're also billing that they have 100 milligrams of L-theanine. Theanine. Zero added sugar is what they say. That doesn't taste... What, what the... Why would they... Why would they make this? Oh! It's like, um, you ever go to, you know, there's like a place in the mall. This is, there was a place in the mall that was sell, that would sell wheatgrass shots and, you know, other little kind of like health shots of, you know, different. And, uh, me and, and, uh, me and a friend would, uh, we would each get wheatgrass shots and shoot them back. And it was just like the worst. It was the worst. It was like you fell down on the lawn out front. And in mouth open, just blah, 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 blah. Um, 
and um, it was bad. This is uh, pretty similar to that. I mean, it, it makes the plant-based end of this make a lot of sense because this is... It, it doesn't... Um, Yeah, there is a bit of a green tea flavor here, which is fine. It just doesn't serve the... I am tasting no cherry or watermelon in this drink. This is a... I'm, I am so unhappy about this. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. I mean the ingredients list, um, brewed tea, green tea, cherry juice, apple juice, Cherry juice concentrate, natural flavors, watermelon essence, green tea extract, vitamin B12, vegan, and organic. Oh, the, yeah, a lot of those are, are organic ingredients. Um, it was apparently made in Venice, California. My stomach feels uh, bad. Essence, the essence of what they lay. They held a watermelon near the can after they closed it up and said, like, mm, yes, through there is, don't worry. Some of it's getting, some of it's getting in there. But yeah, it mostly tastes like really bad green tea, really bad green tea. And then there's something ever so slightly that you might mistake for something it's like not the taste of cherry. It's like the feel of the taste of cherry. You know the way your mouth feels after you drink like a cherry flavored drink or, or you know, you eat a cherry or, or like, and, and then the aftermath of that, like it has the, the aftertaste of cherry, but none of the actual taste of cherry. This is a bad, this is a bad beverage. As Larry King used to say, um, it's making me extremely burpy. It smells bad every time I put it close to my face. The smell is very strong. So if like I'm, I'm if I'm breathing through my nose, it's like an extra little. Ugh. This is just an unpleasant. Like it's not the worst thing I've ever tasted, but but it's like. It's pretty damn bad. But it's not violently so, I guess, is, is the, maybe the nicest thing you can say about it, is it just sucks. But also, yeah, my, my, tum my tummy doesn't feel very good. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Let's, let's see where this is going to go on the list. Let's see. Um... This is, uh... This is worse than G Fuel Pink Drip. It's worse than Zoa Superberry. It's, it's, you know, it's worse than Rockstar X Durance Marshmallow, which is a truly horrendous, horrendous beverage. Um... It's probably worse than Compound V, honestly. It's it's probably, um, but it, it's it's definitely better than any of the Faxicondi line of beverages. That this is, you know, this this much is clear. Oh God, I, I this is I, I don't know though. This is this is strongly terrible. Oh, just. Just a bad damn time. Just a bad time. Why? Who would? 
I I I will I will drink a green tea. I like green tea. I like a green tea, but god dang. Okay. Uh let's just get this on the list and play The Legend of Zelda. Link's Awakening. No. Uh the the, the Adventure of Link. I I really want to play that game again. The second Legend of Zelda game. Been thinking about it a lot lately. Um All right, we're looking at the list here. Yeah, it's going to go right there. Riot Energy. Cherry cherry watermelon. That's like I should almost that's almost like false advertising. On the flavor there. It's really It's really rotten. It's also number 104 on our list of 111 drinks. Um, congratulations to everyone involved. And thank you to my wife for picking this up. This is, oh my God, this is terrible. It feels bad going down. It's like they got a hold of some green tea and then said, what if we, what if we messed this up real bad? What if we put a bunch of other stuff in here and really screwed this up? So, uh, that's a congratulations to, to can, can, I would rather, this is, I'm gonna gargle your piss. that would be an improvement in some ways. All right, now it's time for video games. Of the Zelda Persuasion. Games don't get any bigger than this one. Unless you count the bigger ones. It's Tears of the Kingdom. The, I, I don't I don't I honestly do not know what to expect here. I don't I, I really don't. Um, as someone who kind of thought that Breath of the Wild was cool, but mostly from a distance, um, you know, um, pardon me. It, it, that's the worst thing about this is that it's making me all, all burpy. Um, I always thought Breath of the Wild was fine, but um, I don't know. You know, it, it's uh, it's such a specific thing. I you know, like it. The, that game. Uh, people like to talk about it like it just has this like universal appeal, and it's such a. I, I don't know. Is it an anomaly? Because I mean, people do really like it, but uh, you know, there are just a lot of things about that game that um, get in the player's way in a way that, in a way that a lot of games don't. Um, a lot of big mainstream games, anyway, don't. And I, th I find that really interesting. Um, Let me know what you think of the audio levels once we get going here. Um, you know, like there are systems in that game that are like not as friendly as you normally expect from, um, you know, your kind of big mainstream video games. Um. And so it was interesting to see people Strange like really keeps getting thicker. Really fall for it. I mean, it, I think in some ways that kind of you could almost say that like the success of Breath of the Wild in some ways predicts the success of a, a game like Elden Ring, which These I think is, is in a similar boat watch. of like this is a game that what is built in a lot of ways that are you know go against the the grain, go against the trend for what we think of as games built for mainstream audiences. Um, 
and it's almost like kind of like a one-two punch uh, there, which is interesting. Um, and, and and you know, like a little bit surprising, like like playing this game before playing Breath of the Wild before it came out was like. Um, like, hey, this is really neat. Like, they're really trying to make something different here. They're really changing things up. <clears throat> and I bet that there will be, like, a whole cadre of people that, that cannot connect with it because of... Just maybe, like, how sandboxy it is in some ways. Like, it's not even necessarily a lack of hand-holding. It's like a, you know, the... The openness of that alone, game so is something that but some people are just not into. I but, you know, I guess okay with you, Link. when we think about it in terms of, um, you know, the success of other games before it, you know, the Minecrafts of the world, like games that don't necessarily have explicit stated objectives, you know, maybe those games kind of paved the way for that a little bit as well. Um, and so in, in a lot of ways, Breath of the Wild is the right game in the right place at the right time. Like they really kind of lined it all up. Um, I kind of, I, I, I fell off of it. I, I just, I, I found that the, the kind of the content you were supposed to go do, I thought was not a lot of fun going and doing the four, you know, big dungeons or whatever. Um, I got through that stuff and I was just like, I just don't, I'm just not having a good time doing this. Like all of the systems and all of the other stuff uh, is neat, but, um, but those dungeons were just not great. The shrines were awesome. Um, but I, I just, I just, I never found a way to connect with it. I don't, yeah, that's yes. Digital Everett. I'm kind of with you there. Like the cooking and then. The cooking and the stamina and the climbing and stuff like I, I'm not going to sit here and say like that that they oh they shouldn't have done this they shouldn't have done that but it's just like I just look at it and it's like I that's cool I'm, I'm not really it's not really that into it so that's kind of how I'm coming into this is like you know uh, I hope that there's better stuff to do <laughs> um I never wanted to mess with horses in that game either. I was like, I'll just run there. I don't want to deal with having to get a horse. We'll let this go. It's going to be something. Whoa. The Zonai? Is that, is that a... Is the Zonai, is are Zonai a thing? I don't... Oh, that drink is bad. No one must ever venture beneath the castle. <laughs> like, maybe move. Uh, maybe move. If your castle is like, hey, don't ever go down there. No, n trust me, never go down there. It's like, maybe we should build another castle somewhere else that doesn't have, I don't know, what's down, like, what, the weird ghosts, people? Eggs, humpable eggs.
Oh, here. No. Oh, you want me to pose for a shot here? Okay, here. No, check me out. I'm climbing. I'm doing a thing. She's playing Star Trek Fleet Command. <laughs> Kind of looking at all. I have, I have this up on three different displays here, and I'm kind of looking at the color stuff between them. And this this one is well, that I'm the one I'm actually playing on is maybe the darkest of them all. But the stream looks a lot like my actual television does. So, uh, let me get it. Let me here. Let me pose. Here, uh, take a picture of me doing stuff to this egg. Link's OnlyFans is going to be blowing up. Hope all you egg sitter fans are buckled in. Because we're hatching them over here this week. Are the Zonai just going to end up being the Chozo? Is this just some kind of weird... Are, there, are we going to eventually get to like the singular Nintendo... You know, uh, universe. Smash Brothers was right all along, or whatever. How did ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? Is uh, so I guess that's maybe my question. Are the Zonai is that a thing from Skyward Sword? Are we like opening this game with? Skyward Sword references? Or is that all new? Because if this whole game is them trying to redeem the, the concepts of Skyward Sword... Okay, so that is new. Alright. What's up? Yeah, you keep saying, uh, oh, oh yeah, that's, uh, well, I'm glad we stopped it. I'm glad we had this chat. Ah. Oh, hey. Now we're gaming. You are not hurt, are you, Link? Look at these murals. Not a big fan of her voice. Uh, if we gotta... The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred <sighs> to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? Could be. This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. Good God, man. And there is... Okay, one, two, three, four, seven tiers surrounding it. Do we have to go collect the seven tiers to open up the Sky Palace and then get in there and hump some more eggs? It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. I, I'm glad that they unionized. I mean, in video games, that's such a rarity. These murals tell a similar story. And if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time. Working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Oh, fuck. This figure 
He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, and he's some kind of pig man. The king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> We should go. Here really does represent the Demon King. Then What does this have to do with the gloom that you're talking about? Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. This is very exciting. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link. This is a huge discovery. So you uh, you seem excited. This is great. Take take a picture of me with my tongue out going like this next to uh, uh, it. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. She's posting to Blue Sky. And people are not interested. She's on there saying, can we please not call them skeets? And people are saying, how about you go fuck yourself? What is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. All right. Let's keep moving deeper. Oh, what's over here? Oh. But yeah, I mean, it's been a very long time since I played Breath of the Wild, so like, I just don't even remember the controls. Okay. That's just a button. Oh, this is this is how I run forever, right? Yeah, Link sees the cops. Ah 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 This is a really, uh, I guess, bold choice to open the game with, like, this isn't even, like, a good tutorial of how to play. It's just, how about you do this really slow walk? Through this cave. <laughs> Come on, when do I get hit and lose all these hearts? When is it like, oh, you're, you don't, you don't have a sword. Or, oh, we busted your clothes off of you. You can't roll up into a ball. The, the. Oh, here we go. Here. This is where it happens, huh? We made it to the vape lounge. This TV does not need to be, need to be quite as loud as it is. I think, you know, there's something also about the inconsistency of character voice, and then you get into these scenes and there isn't voice in this day and age. Like, you know, you can have artistic opinions about the, like, should Link talk discussion, but, um, but this stuff specifically is just like, I don't know. Make your game 17 gigs instead. 20 gigs, something. Okay. 
Uh, we found the weird ghost mummy that uh, when your dad said we shouldn't. Ah, oh, that's probably bad. We should go. Oh, is that one of the tears of the kingdom? Is this one of the kingdom's tears? Tears? Give me back my apostrophe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here it is. How about three hearts? Why don't you start the game with three hearts? Just an idea. Just an idea we had. We'll give you the fire beast arm, but in, uh... Oh my god, blades will bl shatter. Swords will shatter. Think. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power. I didn't realize they found the fucking save you from me. Lemmy's mummy down here. On your knees, dog. You who carries that fragile sword. A link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? That's the thing you're worried about? Like, ah, oh, the mummy man knows our names. That's bad. The mummy man's gonna dox us. And then raise the sky kingdom, I guess, huh? Is that what we're doing now? Okay. this guy. I mean, it's, you know, it's about time that, you know, after all the years of the Darksiders franchise, um, you know, cribbing from Zelda, that they finally took something back in the way that that mummy man looks. Uh-oh. That's probably bad. Oh, Thanks. You guys seeing this shit? Yeah, well, Zelda's dead. Let's to rename the franchise or something. It's Link and the Mummy's Curse. Link and the Curse of the Sky Mummy. Sky Mummy in the Legend of... Hi... Hyrule Fantasy. Colon. Mummy Time. Wait, so that, did that arm save Link and then attach itself to Link in in the place of the the weird burned up arm, fire fire beast arm looking thing? Sick ink, bro. Hell yeah, man. <sighs> I was experiencing some kind of phantom pain, but now it's like I've got this arm now. I don't know. Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Why did you steal my clothes, bro? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. Ah, I see. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. 
just like Dagon Gera. Good posture on this guy. Shoulders back. I wish I, I, you know, maybe I should get one of those weird straps that people wear, you know, but keep their shoulder blades back. Gross. Well, this could be like a master dagger, I guess. Guess that's better than nothing. Special controls. Oh, ho, ho. this is if you hold the controller upside, if you put the controller in your butt, you can do this. We're using the Amiibo technology for some really fancy stuff this time around. On these special controls. Say there's something really fucked up about the Master Sword having a rating of one. But like, I mean, in the last game, I mean, the Master Sword wasn't really all that either, right? Because you're, you know, picking up and degrading and, you know, all this other stuff that's happening with these weapons. Like, that was kind of one of the things that was like the... The way the... I don't know. I, 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 I'm I all for changing things up, I guess I should say. But something always felt a little weird about... I don't know. Like the Legend of Zelda is traditionally like, Hey man, you start with a shitty sword, you get an okay sword, and then you get the Master Sword. But obviously, this is not that game. So I, you know, I, that, that's that's a that is a good thing. <laughs> Anything else cool in here? Just seem like a room I'll come back to. Kinda. He's dripping wet. He's still dripping wet. I hope he just drips like that for the entire game. It's just wet link. Oh, I see. I have... I thought maybe that was going to be a portal that teleported me out of the room, not a thing that just made the room start working. But, uh, okay. Is this a thing? Is this a Jedi meditation point? What do we have here? Not what I thought that would do. When it just said jump, I thought I would just jump straight up and down on whatever that platform was, but here we are. But we're gonna that's right, we're gonna drown. That's right. That's right. That's what this game is. <laughs> like, oh I gotta get out of the water before I die. Is there any kind of Did that take? That's maybe a little too much. It's 
swap jump. Oh, it's nice that you can put jump on, like, the jump button <laughs> if you want. Everybody get your Android devices ready for Amiibo time. Uh, okay. Here, yeah, we... Should I have gone and climbed on those gears? I thought maybe this was going to loop back around and lead me to upstairs to where those gears were and that maybe I could climb on them and, and do something and get something. And now I feel like I have already made a huge mistake. Simple, classic, archaic. All right. something about the lighting and some of the shading in this that I just, I think, looks weird. Oh, shit. Very confident, this dude. Just be like, I guess, I guess I'm just jumping off. Like, whatever. We're going to jump off and get our title card and then, uh, well, that drink is done at least. Ugh. Gross. All right. Tomato Town is never going to fucking know what's coming. Very tasteful upskirt. Thank you. There's this, like, the, there's something about the shadows and stuff. Like, there's just, yeah, I don't know. They're, like, the visual effects in this game have, like, a lack of precision or something to them that, like, makes my eyes feel like they're crossing. Like, those shadows on those, the, from those trees down there, there's just something about the way they're, they blur in and out or something that's just like, ugh, what is, hmm. If that makes any sense. Oh, that's really, I mean, whatever. Like, guess what, guys? The Nintendo Switch is the Nintendo Switch. Like, looking at this stuff, you're like, oh, look at this big, fat detail line here. <laughs> like, yep. What is this? I like that this is, like, it's not, he's, it's, did, he didn't hit his head so hard that he forgot what the fucking apple is, did he? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hi. Oh, do we have to fight? Is it? Oh, jeez.
This tree branch does more damage than the Master Sword. A blade-like horn. Okay. A Zonai charge. Eat. Can eat this blade. What do we have in terms of do we have a a map or anything yet or what do we looks like no I kind of just want to explore. I don't know. Like, I'm sure I need to walk into, like, one of those sky gazebos or something to do something, but... It's just, you know, like the there's the shadow off of that bush and then the tree and then the grass in the middle of it. Like it just has a really just a really grimy looking game up close, you know, like when you like I, I there's definitely like elements of it that you're like, oh this is this looks great, but like I just there's so much little stuff like that that it's just it's rough, man. I don't know. Whatever. Again, you know. It's a Nintendo Switch game. That's where we came down, right? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything just up here before we before we go. Oh, hey, sweet mushrooms, sky shrooms. I bet we go this way first. Oh, hey, here we go. Now we're set. Anything hiding on the other side of this wall? Like, no. <laughs> I should probably stop. I probably should not play this game that way because if I do, then I'm certainly never going to finish it. Probably just be like, hey, I'm just going to go. And if stuff breaks along the way, I'll pick up more stuff. Not saving anything, not hoarding anything, just 
gonna run forward and murder. We have the Sacred Order of the Broom. Oh, okay. I see. Well, I guess that would imply that she's not dead then if uh if she was able to leave us uh this thing. So do the controllers come off the sides, or is this a light, or what? I mean, what do we? Uh... Okay. Oh, it's the pictures she took, except I'm not in... Oh, I am in... The, okay, I'm in that one. But that's not... Remember she was taking all those pictures and I was standing in front of her? It should save all those. Time Temple. Well, that's sad. Is this one of those things where I could just go do that right now and beat the game, but actually... You know, it's going to be like, 80 hours later, you found Princess Zelda. You beat Calamity QAnon. Again. It's a good thing these are all just like magically positioned above water like that. What's up, weird thing? Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that a weird sky dragon? Well, I don't know. It pulled it pulled that out. Pulled that out to use as binoculars automatically. Oh, there. That's okay. We click right stick for that. Okay. I forgot that this is motion stuff. It's like, why is this so jittery? It's like, oh, right. Well, this is a very silly video game. This is like, hey, we made one of these and we're going to make another one on the same hardware. So let's make it weird. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. What's up? I guess we're headed in the right direction. No, that's... Oh, boy. stick. Uh, what's the... Uh, that's not it. <laughs> Is it. Up? There we go. No, uh, how... Do, can I not... Can I not just eat stuff from that menu? Why? Why wouldn't, why couldn't we just do that there? You know, the little stuff like, hey, maybe just auto-select the next weapon in my inventory when one breaks. Might be cool. Or let... put a eat button on this menu. Why? Just let me... let Link eat. Or is that like a... I can select it as a secondary? Is there a... Oh, whatever.
Toasty Sky Shroom. It's the lead singer of Crazy Town, right? Uh, we gonna make hot apples or is this too far away Drill a hole through the apple. Oh, so since it's already cooked into something, now it no longer even shows up on this menu. I see. because it's already cooked and now it just sits in my in inventory that way. <laughs> Unbearable heat. It's bound to happen. It's a food menu, not a material menu. I get you. Well, let me do the math on what's the most efficient food to eat to get back to full health, I guess. Because that's, that's a good time. Okay. Whatever. I have two more apples I could cook, but you know what I'm going to do instead? Leave. Yeah, I, I warm myself by the fire for a little bit. It's, uh, I'm good. I'm good. up. Could this be question marks like I don't know oh it's a shield got it <laughs> we're 
wrong button. Something I just had a weird, uh, like almost like deja vu like feeling. But as I was something about walking down these steps and looking around and seeing it all busted up and turning back around reminded me of that game, that Ubisoft game. Uh, Im Immortals or whatever. No, what Immortal God of whatever the. I can't remember the even the name. Phoenix Rising. That's the one. Yes. I just got a big F Immortals Phoenix Rising vibes off of this game. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. Well, you did. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Ooh. I am Raru. I have the goat man's arm? And now he's the boss? And then what? <laughs> oh, Forgive man. Appearing to you in this manner. Get Link a cult single action Fortune. army and let him fucking... No longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Think we like plug it in or? You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Why not? Shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Did anybody else see that goat guy? Or am I just fucking flipping out? Oh. Fuck everybody down there. Just on the freeway overpass, just throwing rocks down at the cars below. That's the real link. Thanks. Oh. 
I had forgotten all about all the cooking stuff too in this game. I saw a screenshot of this. Uh, and I... Do you th think... I mean, did anyone at any point, like... Do you think anyone, like, looked at this and said, Hey, hmm, we don't... This is... You're maybe, like, maybe you should redesign the look of this. Or do you think that they fully knew exactly well what they were doing? And they were like, oh, yeah. No, that's, yeah. Yeah, no, we, we, know, we know what we're up to. I'm all for it. Either way. Just, you know, they, uh, I mean, maybe each shrine is different. Yeah. Maybe we've got a, maybe there's like a meat spin entrance. Maybe there's a lemon party entrance. Maybe there's a whole thing. That would have been really cool if it didn't load. <laughs> you just walked in there and you're in here and you're suddenly in here. That would have been rad. Okay. Stick them to the uh, uh, okay. Mm. Have you ever played Gary's mod? No, not Banjo because we nuts and bolts. We don't know anything about what is that? We've never heard of that. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna use Ultra Hand all right. Okay. Left bumper to activate the ability in my right hand. link around, I just move the thing around. It's like the, it's like um, we're playing Xevious now. Okay, so 
I can walk around. Okay, but I couldn't jump. That's what it was. As soon as I hit jump, it let go. That's that seems like a good system to, for that. Sure, <laughs> I guess that's yeah. Play the music, I guess. Right? That's probably what I gotta do. Is like... Get this just so... Uh, da, da, da. Running jump would do it. <laughs> I like that you wiggle the right stick to unstick stuff. That's that's neat. That's a term for for what that does I just like breaking stuff while I'm standing on it it's like Turok in here That's a lot of shit I can move, huh? Okay. I'm not 100% sure what I want to accomplish here. I mean, obviously, I want to get across the gap. But I can't, uh, I mean, I can't even... Oh, I can. I can unstick those. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, wrong thing. Oh, God. So this I cannot unstick. I mean, maybe it really is just as simple as put this on the thing and hope for the best, but I doubt it. Okay. I thought maybe I would have to, like, hang the ball from it to give it the weight it needed to slide over or something, but... Oh, there's little fireworks here for us. Hooray. Look at that. Hooray! Do I have it? Is that going to give me all my 20 hearts back from the other thing? Or, uh... Thanks. Do I smoke this or what? Uh... One. Oh, so do I, have to, do I have to spend that to open the door? Is it going to be something like that? What's up? It's cool. Ah! Oh. Two more shrines. Hmm. Anyway, you should use the map. Peace. So there's supposed to be two more shrines. I mean, can I see them both from here or no? Oh, God. Where's that pin I just placed? Fuck. There it is. So I guess we'll go over there. I uh I guess we'll go over there. Or should I be trying to find the third the other shrine first here? I did 
It's a less jittery, like, motion-sicky kind of mess. <laughs> okay, so there's a one up there. And then there's another one somewhere, right? Uh, so people are asking about colorblind stuff, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, green is not a problem color for me per se, um, it, but it really, it's it, color stuff depends on the background and the contrast and the stuff around it, right? So, like in terms of stuff getting lost in the background, um. I mean, it has some kind of swirly animation on that. It's supposed to have like a swirly swirl on top of it, right? The way that this, this one does. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, there's a fire. Some kind of animated blocks there. Um, it's above the animated blocks. Can we not? Can we? <laughs> can we not just automatically place the red pin? Because that one is a problem. Okay. I guess let's go with, uh, which one should I go to first? Well, I guess let's see how we can get down from here first. Maybe that's the... Oh. Nice of them to Assassin's Creed the shit out of that right there. Just like, hey, yeah, you climbed all the way up this thing, but you know.
All right, we got a bunch of stuff. Where's that going to take us, though? Down there? Is that going to get us any closer to where we... Yeah, I guess. I'm sure. Fuck it. And they wouldn't put this stuff here if they didn't want us to use it. See, I, I'm hitting ZR instead of R. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Nintendo buttons. Yeah, I don't think that's going to... Oh, fuck it. Let's try it. <laughs> Crazy. This is making me I'm just like losing my goddamn mind. All right. Uh, None of these are the ways I want to rotate this. There. Okay. Now we'll grab this whole mess. Move it up. Oh no! I did not mean to hit the button. Can you kill yourself? Can you drop stuff on your head? I guess we can just rotate it that way and then it'll be easier to hook up, huh? This is neat. You know, it even just says like a simple little like, hey, you just got the ability kind of thing. Like that's, that's cool. Goat man here to tell me about how boats work? You know, you can make boats. Hmm. Thanks for the wood, nerd. stuff. Well, I don't know. Also, there's a sail on that, so is there water? 
I guess not. I don't really see any. Well, there's water over here. Maybe I gotta build a bridge and then build a boat. out all my stamina doing nothing to this log. Well, I guess we want to build it that way. <laughs> okay, uh, so now we got a boat over here, but is this... We, we probably want to plop it in on the other side of this bridge, otherwise I'm not going to really go anywhere, right? All just got weird floating blocks, huh? That seems like somewhere I might want to go. Decorations and crafting.
How dare you not put anything on this side of the wall? <laughs> so I guess that was it. It was just like, hey, did you know you can go over here? There's a little trinket over here. This is fun. I don't actually need it. I can just climb up. You know, just... Oh, God. I guess let's take the boat, because that seems like that would be a fun thing to do. Hunting, yeah. That went great. Yeah, I'm hunting all right. Okay, well now we're up here. that way. So... I guess I'm just going to go this way.
Are you cool or... Okay. Cooking? Is this, is this the link that just ran straight to Ganon and beat the game and that's why he doesn't know anything about anything? He's like, cooking? What? I don't, ugh, okay. Educate me. joke. Okay. Now, do I have to... No, wrong... Put a blade in there. Sh sure, let's put one of these in. I don't know. Let's we'll see what it does. Let Link cook. Yes. Did I mention that I really never liked the cooking stuff? The old hasty meat and mushroom skewer. Across some kind of great expanse or something here. You guys want to fight? Oh, you. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, huh? See, now that I have a bow, uh, I kind of almost do want to turn motion controls back on, but... Stan bulb. Ever slightly auto aiming, which is welcome. I 
I want more rusty broadswords. <laughs> Uh, how do I get back to the sword menu? Oh, do I have to, there, we have to pull one out. I see. I don't want to drop the bow. I don't know, whatever. It contains the power of water. Just matter-of-factly, like, oh, this opal? Oh, yeah, it contains the power of water. Like, oh, okay. If you say so. Well, see, now this seems like a place where you're going to need a boat. Surely they did not expect me to bring that boat all the way over here. Surely that was just like, hey, look at this boat. You should build one like it later if you can. Oh, hey. Hi. I like that there's no, like, uh, stamina equivalent for the power here. That it's just like, no, we, we this might take you time to get it right, and just take your time, do the thing. This is going to be the end of me. Do I want both hooks for more stability? Couldn't hurt. No, that's not okay. I think the the thing it's like the the rotation is oriented to like whatever world stuff they're doing right like however they view the the orientation of the whole world but then like you you're showing up with these two logs that are not oriented that way and you're trying to line it up and it's like it kind of doesn't it doesn't always match you know um You coming? No? All right. Peace. Oh, you like want me to bring him over, huh? It's not like a, hey, your buddy's waiting for you over there, quest ends sort of deal. I see.
you have any thoughts on this? Oh, no, you you do. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm aware. I wonder what happened. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we have a sail down there. Maybe we can we use the power of wind to do this? Is that a... other ideas, so let's, uh, drop the sail. Good. Okay. Can I even, is there even realistically anywhere I can put that sail on? There? I don't Yay, the power of the wind. Let's go. Hey, you guys. Hey, buddy. Go fuck yourself. And now we have uh, most of what we need for a boat, and the wind seems more deliberately visible here. Let's get this thing down. Bring it over here. This is so slow. This is so slow. I mean, I get that, like, there's certain aspects of, like, a tutorial that they want to... Oh, I need a, I need a fucking weapon, man. Thick stick. Thick stick. Okay. Dual sails. I don't know what that attached to, but we're going. Be 
careful. Bot jumps. Double deckers, hot sail power. This is this is the, how wars are won with hot shit like this. Get in there. Okay. Yeah, you motherfuckers were like, I'm just gonna have one sail on my boat. Soft. You soft do. Taking my shot when I had the chance. Just, uh, you stay here and do boat stuff. It'll be like 30 hours later, the game's just going to crash over and over again because it'll be doing such intense boat physics back here. had to keep track of what the boat was doing. Dirty. It's just so foul looking. Now imagine a piece of hardware, a piece of Nintendo hardware that was so powerful that when you walked through this gaping portal, it didn't do this. How cool would that be? If, it did, if this wasn't a load. Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> Why did they do this? Oh. Now, if you take your ultra hand and shape it like this and then grease it up real good, and then you kind of want to go like a, like a thrusting with a, attach something to a weapon, right? Okay. You can undo this, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Does that mean both items or just the attached items and the base item will stay? Yeah, so we have Ultra Hand, we have Fuse, next we'll get Fist, and uh... That's when the game really gets going. Hmm. Mm. Like, do you think the conversations ever really happened or did people just get a hold of this game and just play it and go, oh man. Do you think they know? And they're like, no, there's no way. There's no way they know. Well, so we, should we tell them? Should we tell them? Should we, I mean, should we tell them that what they're making? Should we tell them what all these shrine entrances look like? No, absolutely not. I'm not, I'm not going to tell them. What are we going to go find Miyamoto in his garden and go, Hey, um, so there's a whole, this is, all right, let me back up a little bit. Uh, you know, <laughs> 
Okay, the internet. <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm. I can't tell him. I can't tell him. Onuma, we could tell. No, I can't. I can't tell him. We need to tell them about the fat gapes in their video game. No, no. You know, if you're going to make the sticks and stuff just break over and over and over again, at least let me carry a thousand of them. No, we don't want to use the thick stick. Let's use the thing that it gave us. Oh, you can only fuse once? I thought I could build fat stacks. It's very satisfying right there. Less satisfying is the boulder sword clipping through the ground. But I guess I would rather them let you make ridiculous bullshit then have to sit there and go like, well, we can't make it too crazy because it's too, you know, like that's not, this isn't, look, it's whatever, but you know what I mean? When we're like, hey, look at these world-class video games. Crew's blood flow raise attack power in high temperatures. What do you... Oh, I see. I see. So what the hell's down here that we... Nothing? Okay. Okay, so we want bow, use, is this not going to work because I picked up all the fire fruits? Drop. Draw the bow, hit up on the D-pad. Okay. Ah, oh, what? Oh, ah, that didn't. Select material to attach. Okay, so that's like an instantaneous kind of like... Got it. Now we get these arrows, we shoot one at the sun, and then the next temple opens up and... This is just like now that we have this sword with a rock at the end of it, it just looks like some real Dynasty Warriors level bullshit. You know what I mean? What's the mysterious puzzle in this room? Ah, the ladder. Right. Alright. Oh, you're gonna fling some shit around, huh? Well, what if I burn you? 
Is that a thing we can do? You gonna step? Yeah. No, that's not really your, uh... Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, fuck me. Yes. Okay. Oh. These are all still picked up. Still got... Oh, that's there. But is this door open? Yes. This time with more verve. Okay. Let's back up, try this ladder thing again. Here we go. Just I was I thought I had a shield for this sort of oh because I have a two-handed weapon that I can't even use a fucking shield anymore. Is that oh uh, what that's okay that was not quite what we had in mind here. But okay, why don't we stop and eat some food and think about this a little bit, huh? Yeah, that's the good stuff. Let's see what's so dubious about it. Yeah, boulder shield. Is it not? No, I mean, it's still on his back. I guess it's because I have... This is a... Maybe I just throw it at him. Like, will he take damage from other weapons? Because if I had a like a one-hander with a shield out, I feel like the shield, my big boulder shield. Okay, we'll see. There we. Oh, so he just doesn't automatically put the weapon away. hit shield, which is a choice, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's 
just a, it's a, just a very clumsy set of interactions, you know? Like as someone who hasn't played Breath of the Wild in however, when did, what year did that come out? Drop weapon, pick up weapon stuff. I just, you know. I feel like what this uh, shrine has shown me is that I don't ever want to use a weapon this heavy or big again. Which I could say for most games. That I, that I don't want to do big, heavy, wind-up animation heavy weapons. And, like, the fusion stuff is cool, and, like, I don't know. Like, ev everything I'm seeing is fucking neat as hell. But I, like, it is literally, like, the menus and selecting weapons and changing from one bow to another. And the it's not even necessarily the weapon durability thing that everyone loves to complain about, right? It's the, like, I've got to get in here and swap to this and do this and do that, you know, the, like, that stuff. You know. What? Well, I, my inventory is full, so fucking beat it. Okay. But trust me, it's good. Hope it's good. Anyway, uh, I'll see you. just go where he said we should go. No, just let me carry every cheese wheel in all of Skyrim. Like that would be to me that would that would be a good fun solution. You know, because like if you want to be combining and fusing and doing all this cool shit, like, you know, just just let me carry shit. Just let me carry everything. Who cares? Make it all break, but okay. Let's take our pole here. 
and then fuse thick stick to long stick. I guess if I don't have the inventory room to carry a thing, I just bolt it to the end of my shit. Guster. Was this Far Cry 2 over here? No. The big stick's on fire. with a giant boulder on my back. Tree branch with an added grip. Alright, well, we'll get rid of wooden stick. Do I have anything else to cook? Put a stamina shroom in there with it. I don't know. <laughs> best thing about that last game was always the, the little tuk -tuk 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 when you're cooking. It's the best part of that entire game. Probably the best part of this entire game. Discovery! When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off a faint light from a small flower. So is that like I can plant them and hit them to... Oh, that's, that's kind of almost like, I mean, it was in the trailers or whatever, so who cares, but there's almost something about them saying, hey, you can make homing arrows out of these bats' eyeballs. Like, that would almost be a fun thing for you to explore and find. <laughs> but, eh. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. That's just silly. Something heavy, huh? Well, how? Do, oh, okay, well, we do. We do have the rock hammer here.
Bubble frogs. Okay. I get to wear a shirt? Why would I want to do that? Self-evidently useful. Okay. We'll replenish automatically. So it's like a second stamina meter for gear. is real. Nah, whatever. We're gonna make it cool. And that looks cooler. Oh, wrong. Wrong button. God damn it. My dumbass. No, it's fine. No, turn off. No, stop. Is that... Well, that's neat. Try this again. Oh, which end? I was not paying attention. Let's turn that around. Put a creative mode in this game. The perfect boat. All right, before we go, though. Let's look around. Oh, hey. You're here, too, huh? I guess we're going this way, right? Yeah. What's this, uh, this stuff over here, though? Y'all got stuff here, too.
What do you think of that? Jerk. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, how about I just go down there and we just try to do a thing here? I should, uh... Sure. Hang on. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not the dodge button at all. Fuck. I just, I, I, you know, I'm sure it's the sort of thing that you get used to, but there's just a... Yeah, a lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. How about that? Fucks you up, huh? Ah! That's bad. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> any motherfucking thing. All right. What do you think of that? Oh, I should probably go over there to hit you some more, huh? I didn't... I just wanted to pick up the arrows, man. All right, roll credits. Pathetic.
am I having fun playing this? Well, like, what's fun? You know, I like, I, I think it's interesting. Like, does it make me want to play more of it? Sure. I, I, the abilities are really neat and, you know, I like, I would like to see more of that. I am not especially enjoying the combat, uh, which, you know, that goes for the last game too. Um, feels short. I mean, the range of the hand is something that they probably tuned based on how they wanted you to solve puzzles, right? And they probably built most of the entire game kind of around that. I can't just climb on ceilings, right? And I probably don't have the stamina to do the... Well, no. Um... Am I just fucked? There's a mushroom. Maybe I can stand up there. There is a mushroom on that. Well, no, you can, because you can grab mushrooms while you're standing. not in the right position for me to do this, but I don't know. That's all right. Great. Glad I went through this, all of this for whatever the fuck Amber is good for. But you know, like like this the stuff conceptually, I think is really cool, and I think that the way that they've built it is um, is really neat when it comes to moving things around, fusing, you know, just like conceptually, it, it's really cool. But I. Serious? Oh, if only. If only I could do this while standing on it. Okay, so what's the... the lowest this can be. But, you know, it's a game full of fucking all kinds of systems, right? And, you know, there are going to be people that like every one of those systems. And for them, this is the greatest game ever made. And, you, you know, it makes sense. But if you're just like, well, I some of these systems are cool. And some of them are things I really don't want to fucking do. 
then it's going to be like moments of brilliance undercut by a bunch of fucking shit that you're just like, I don't really feel like doing this. What the fuck? Like, I'm not missing. There's no map. Th can I can I maybe get around that way? Maybe a little extra height here. What's over here? Nothing. Can I just... Maybe I can just climb my way out, huh? So I can get to there. So if I can get to there, I can probably just climb, right? Right? Like, you know, I think generally, I think I tend to agree with people who are like, hey, you know, the weapon durability stuff is actually key to the type of game they're making or whatever. I go, yeah, that's cool. That doesn't, you know, doesn't mean I have to like it. Uh, you know, I would probably, like, there are systems in this game I'd rather not think about, I guess is what I would say. And I would have a better time if I never had to consider that sort of stuff. Um, I think for balance reasons and for the, you know, the stuff they want people to do and try, like, yeah, of course, of course, it makes a ton of sense, but, um, but those are just the things, you know, the, yeah, the cooking and, and the stamina management and just like, you know, a lot of the systems that make up that last game are things that I'm just like, yeah, this is, it's really neat that they cobbled all these systems together and made something really awesome, but like, I just, eh, you know, it's part of one of the things that makes me just go like, okay, well, I'm just not going to play it. That's cool. But it ain't necessarily for me, you know, and that's okay. <laughs> Fuck off. Raw meat, motherfucker. Um... I guess, should I climb down? And... So I don't know, that, that's kind of how I, how I view it, is just like, yeah, they they made a very different thing with these two games, and uh, it's cool, but like, like I said, you know, I, I think that like, Oh, man, did it, why did it fucking take my boat? I guess because I died, right? It reset my fucking boat. I already built the boat. It's a much cleaner looking boat than the last one I made, to be honest. No, we just we need a little accoutrement on the boat. Like let's let's just a little something. Just a little something nice for us. Just a little barrel on the boat. Oh, you assholes.
Are my fans not aligned? My barrel! Oh, is it because of their... Is it because they're both kind of cheated over to the left? And so it... But it spun to the right, so that's not... No, that would... <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, let's put that one there. Okay, we'll try to put... That look even? Oh, that I can pick up from a million miles away. We need a reverse motor here. We need to... This is not entirely unlike the dumb shit I used to build in Gary's mod. All right. That sucks. Wow, that actually sucks. That totally prevents you from building like a let me correct my course and steer and man, why would they do that? Why would they have them all turn on? Like, I just want to turn on that one. Dude, that sucks. That's fucked, man. That's terrible. That's like just for the the types of things you can build the No. No, I Go away. Try this again. Serum. Yeah, this is. I, I'm. I think I'm good on cooking. You get control sticks. Okay. Well, they give you more tools to work with than than good. Um. Cause I'm coming at it from like a, you know, building ridiculous shit in Gary's mod and, and how I used to try to control that stuff. But, um, but this guy saying like, Hey, make sure you can start a fire so you can stay warm on the mountain. Like is, is a really good reminder about like, right. I don't, I don't like any of that stuff. I just don't. Uh, it's just the, and I think part of it is, you know, the menus and some of the other stuff, just the way you select things and just like navigate, just having to deal with a lot of that. Like I just don't much care for it, uh, how they did it in the previous game. So I don't know, man. Um, 
Like, I think my main thing with that first game was that it was just really awesome the way they built it and the way they dedicated themselves to it. But that also, um, you know, like, a, my main problem was kind of the, the structured content was the, 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 the dungeons, the four big things were just not, well, just not that fun. Um, and that's kind of where I hit a wall, but like some of the stuff along the way about like, oh, you got the temperature here and you got to do this and th like all of the management on temperature and stamina and whatever else was just all kind of stuff I just didn't really enjoy doing. So I, I kind of fell off of a lot of that stuff too. Um, <laughs> suck it, rock. Guess maybe I should have cooked more back at the uh, other. Uh... nice how quick that system is. That motherfucker cracked me with a barrel and now I'm dead. Yeah, Fat Pimp on the Discord says, yes, this and Breath of the Wild, I felt like I was fighting the game to get enjoyment out of it. It's all nitpicky shit that just adds up. That's kind of... Yeah, I think I'm kind of with you there. Oh, God. No, we want melee. Oh. It's like they simultaneously have too many buttons and not enough. <laughs> in here. Surely anything that can make use of one fan could make use of two or three. rock on the front for extra ramming speed. I th 
What if I rammed through that, though? You know? <laughs> Why did I build this thing when it was just a straight shot? <laughs> Should have just walked in there. Hey, hi, I took the four second minecart ride here. That could have been way cooler. <laughs> I even have arrows? I have one arrow. No, can I just drop it and strike it? Can I fuse it to a shield? Okay, can I fuse it to a weapon? Okay, so then I guess we need to go materials. Hold. Drop. Fuse. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can break all those, or how about I just go? Zonite! Crystallized charges. Dude, what? Every button should just be like, fucking what? To replenish your energy cell. Oh, so that's like, I can pop that sort of like, if your stamina is low, there's stuff you can eat to replace it. I can use those to do that for my machines. Yeah, I, I guess I see why they would have a system like this in place. But it's kind of one of those things that, like, boy, wouldn't it be cool if you could just build stuff and never, and not have to think about it and just have fun. What is this inventory item it's requiring me to have two or three of? I don't, what did he say that I needed? Is that the stuff that's probably hidden in these? That's probably not heavy enough to do this. Fuck, I'm just going, dude. What are you doing over here? Oh, okay. So it's just like, lets you spawn. See, this is something that, oh, well, I guess, yeah, they probably, I assume times three means 
I can make three fans and then that's it and I have to get more. This is a game that would be, it would really benefit from, you know how some games have accessibility menus that are just like, fuck it. <laughs> when it comes to certain systems and like if you, if I could just tweak this in a way that's just like, no, just let me put, let me spawn fans whenever I want to for fun because it's fun spawn fans. Um, that would be good. You know what I mean? And not like, let me spawn three and then, oh, I'm out of resources to do what I mean. I mean, like. You know, let me tweak the game. Okay, this is probably tutorializing me using the fan, right? So. Okay, what's that? That's going to be... Oh, okay. We have our own separate... I probably need to use all three to go up the hill, right? Okay. Let me do this. All right. Uh, I'm not here to go slow. I'm not here to build a slow minecart. the cool view. Uh, this could have been a cool striking camera view instead of here's close up fucking link. There we get a little bit better. Ooh, that's... Let's call that a little framey. Time bell. Thanks. Well, this fun little house. What are you doing? What's what's your what's up with your cool? Oh, it's a device dispenser. So the stuff I get off enemies I can use to spawn fans, I guess. Nintendo getting back into the gotcha business. Dude, what? Okay, drop them into the resort. Okay, similar. Okay. Yeah, I mean, why why not have... Like, dude, what if they just had a thing and I walk up and hit A and I tell it what I want and I get it and instead I have to go in here and go, okay, let me find the thing and... Um, I guess I gotta drop it in the thing and...
Okay. Makes fire. Portable cooking pot. Okay. That's kind of neat. And I guess if you're out there killing enough stuff, you're going to have enough... Oh. Same, buddy. Like, I guess, like, it's cool that they dedicated themselves to the whole, like, systems aspect of it. Of, like, no, you're going to drop the things in the pot and then it's going to do, you know. But, like, every step of the way, they erred on the side of, like, you doing the shit. Um, but, it, like, that's just another one of those things you look at and go, like, what if this was just a menu? Like, the exchange, like, the shop back there on the other side of those, tra those train tracks. Like, what if it was just that? Gluing you into this thing, bud. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, fun or no? That close enough or we gotta we gotta really go all the way, huh? Okay. Yeah, we're fucked, man. This is, yeah, okay. How powerful is one of these fans? Let's find out. Kill me. Just kill me. Well, I think that's going to just about do us for today. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Oh, hey, here's this stuff. I don't know. You know, I, I was I was really kind of coming into this thinking like, man, you know, the last game kind of didn't quite do it for me. Um, and you know, like I, I have to just, I so have to reacclimate myself to just like the controls and everything. Cause I'm just not, you know, I haven't played breath of the wild in seven years or whatever it is. Um, nine years, however, um, And so, like, I'm sucking shit at the combat and everything on top of on top of everything else. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think for me, a lot of this game kind of lives and dies by 
how much they want you to worry about um it's it's stuff like the uh the the temperature which you know the temperature gauge is right there on screen right so like the you like oh you climbed up in the mountains and now you got to deal with that and oh you don't have the stamina to do this you know like like those sorts of things like I'm imagining that you get to a point in the game where you can really sidestep a lot of that shit by just building. And to me, that's the interesting thing. Like, that was the thing that was like, oh, I, that, that made me hopeful for this. Is like, I can just build shit. So my hope would be, you know, as you get later in the game that you just start building stuff. But also, it's a really big reminder, uh, even this early part of the game, just the little stuff like, like, oh, this, you know? Like, oh, yeah, I got to go into this menu and do this, and I got to deal with this, and I can't quite hold enough stuff. And dude, and it, at some point, all those little things add up, and I just, you just get to a point where it's like, okay, I don't I don't know that I want to... I just don't know that I want to fucking dick around in all of these menus. Like, okay, well, okay, if I'm, if I'm holding a bow, now it's the bow menu, and then I can... Okay, but if we need to change this, we can change it back to that and do, you know, like all of those sorts of things. It's not even the weapon durability. I think that's become the easy thing for for people to focus on and like, like yeah, whatever. But like there's sticks everywhere. And the fuse system seems like it really is built to mitigate a lot of that. So, I, But I do wonder, can I do this? Okay. Neat. Can I do that? I guess I only have the one shield, huh? Is there a way to... It said you could destroy the... I th Is there a way to... Yeah. There we go. What the f Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, cool man. Um. Is there, a, how do I stop? There, okay, over here. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I kind of want to stick with it to see, like, as it opens up or, or whatever, kind of what it what it really turns into. But uh, a lot of the game has also just been a really kind of stark reminder as to what Breath of the Wild was and and why I didn't, or like the, the seven or eight reasons why I kind of kind of got boring. Um, or kind of got bored with, um, uh, with Breath of the Wild, you know? So, um, so yeah, um, I got to get going. It's lunchtime for the kids and all of those things. So I'm going to go handle that. Everybody have a good weekend. We'll be back Tuesday with the podcast and so on and so forth on down the line. Take care of yourself. Bye.